Hello everyone, I'm 2E, the team member of Crypto Analysis Task Force, and I'm from Nyan Technological University. It is my pleasure to present our paper, New Techniques for Searching Differential Chairs in Kchuck. Personally, I will give a brief description of Kchuck and introduce previous works on differential chair search. After that, I will cover our new three-round chair called Search Strategy. Kchuck permutation uses XOR and and not a chain in its round function. The state size is 1600 bits. It can be organized as a 5x5 array of 64 bit lengths with XYZ coordinates. Each round consists of 5 steps, including 4 linear operations, 0 pi, i order, and a non linear chi operation. It consists of 24 rounds. If you fix Z, you will get a slice. If you fix Y and Z, you will get a row. If you fix X and Y, you will get a lane. If you fix X and Z, you will get a column. Save step adds two columns to the current bit position. Row step is a uh, land level rotation. It rotates the 64 bits of each land by a specific offset, which is determined by the coordinates X, Y of the lane. The pi step is the permutation on length. It rearranges the 25 bits of each slice. Chi, which is the only one nonlinear component, can be treated as a row wise 5 bit S box. I order step as a round constant to the state. It adds a round dependent constant to the first lane to destroy the symmetry. Since it has no effect on this kind of differential to search, we just ignore it. As for the previous result on exhaustive chair search for Kchuck, in a paper differential propagation analysis from the designers in 2012, they claim that three round chairs with propagation weight below 36 are searched completely, and the low bound of six round chairs is 74. Another paper, New Techniques for Church Search from the Designers in 2017, they claim that three round chair calls with threshold propagation weight 45 are searched exhaustively, and a low bound on propagation weight of 4, 5, 6 round chairs are improved accordingly. As for our result, we set the threshold to be 53 for our search strategy, but there is no theoretical proof for a satisfactory low bound, but we indeed found many new chair calls. Before I introduce our search strategy, I want to show you some definitions first. Current parity P of state R is the parity of all the columns. If P equals to 0, C has no effect on state R, and R is called in CP kernel, denoted as K. Otherwise, it's out of CP kernel, denoted as N, with parity and kernel to represent current parity and current parity kernel. A three-round chuck call is denoted by pair of 1 and of 2, or pair beta 1 and beta 2. The target three-round chuck calls means a three-round chuck call beta 1, beta 2, with propagation weight, the reverse weight of of 1 plus the weight of beta 1 plus the weight of beta 2 below a threshold. And here, the reverse weight of R1 refers to the optimal weight of beta 0, which can propagate to R1. As for the classification of 3 round chair call, according to whether R1 and R2 are in kernel or not, 3 round chair calls can be classified into 4 categories. KK chair calls with both R1 and R2 in kernel. NK and NN chair calls with always R1 out kernel. Kn chuck calls with only up to in kernel. For the last two cases, the search strategies are quite similar, but for nk and nn chairs, a chuck call search starts from out kernel state up one, but for kn chairs, it starts from out kernel state up two. Now, I will explain in details how the search strategy for KK chair calls works. Firstly, we need to prepare all the theoretical candidate bit 1 structures 
for internal of one with m orbitals. And then store them in a lookup table. According to the factor, beta 1 can propagate to half 1, which is in kernel through the inverse of linear operation, we construct all the possible state half 1. Based on the relationship between half 1 and beta 1, we filter all the states half 1. And then we extend forward by one round to obtain the target 3 round check. Please be note here, orbitals refers to a group of two active bits in the same column. It's a concrete example to illustrate how KK chair search algorithm works. Assume four orbitals at state of one propagate to three slices at state beta one with three three two pattern. The three three two pattern here indicates the number of active bits in each slice. From the lookup table we Enumerate all possible valid slides for Z1 prime to obtain P1 double prime, P2 double prime, and P3 double prime. Through the inverse of linear operation, P1, P2, P3 are determined. And then according to the orbital relation, we can get Q1, Q2, Q3. Through the linear operation, Q3 double prime is determined. According to the valid 2-bit slices stored in lookup table, P4 double prime can also be obtained. So, P4 is also fixed. After that, Q4 can be enumerated according to the orbital relation. So, until now, all the 4 orbitals with 8 bits are determined. Then, we filter all the state up 1 by checking Q1 double prime, Q2 double prime, and Q4 double prime are all at slice Z C2 prime or not, and check the result in internal slice at state of 2 or not. After that, we extend one more round to get to the target 3 round check cost. Before we go through the search algorithm for cases with at least one outcome of states, we need to know some definitions first. A group of outcome states of share the same parity P, so each parity stands for a subspace of of denoted by VP. On each parity P, there are a group of states called parity bare states that can represent all other states in VP. Other states can be generated by just adding orbitals to the parity bare states, so outcome states in VP can be covered by enumerating all the parity bare states. Any outcome states of can represent a set of states simply through adding orbitals to it. The subspace represented by of is denoted as V of. The space of out kernel states can be divided into subspaces represented by out kernel state of. So, the parity space can be divided into subspaces represented by each parity bare states. The such space is all the out kernel state of. In order to cover the whole search space, we propose the idea representative of a subspace VF. For each subspace VF of VP, an idea representative state of prime is generated based on R. Generally, the idea representative state doesn't exist in reality, it just represents the optimal number of active rows of three round chair costs of all states in VP. It indicates the low bound of the whole subspace, so if the idea representative of a subspace cannot meet the weight requirement T3, the whole subspace can be safely discarded. The idea improvement assumption on outcome state of assumes that of one can be optimally improved at beta 2 in terms of the number of active rules with the least number of orbitals added to of one. For KN chairs, the idea improvement assumption on outcome state of assumes that of 2 can, can be optimally compensated with an internal state of 1 with the least number of orbitals added to of 2. So, basically, the idea representative of, of subspace V of is obtained when of is ideally improved. The process of generating the idea representative state of a sub, subspace under the idea improvement assumption and deciding whether to delete it or not is called viability check. The outcome state of that passes the viability check is called viable. 
So searching three run check cost equals to generating all viable outcome states. Here is a complete process of three round check cost search. Firstly, we need to prepare all candidate parties. For each candidate party, the corresponding parity bail states are enumerated. For each parity bail state, we conduct viability check on it and generate a viable state. For all viable state up, we add one more orbital to it and conduct a viability check on the newly generated up prime. We repeat the whole process until there is no viable state anymore. For all the viable state up, we extend them forward or backward for one more round and crack the target straight round check course. Let's look at the concrete example to see how KN chair search algorithm works. This algorithm starts from outcome state up to the idea improvement assumption states that for each active rule as state up to rather than considering only the comfortable bit one, we take all the 31 patterns into consideration. It assumes all the 31 patterns are legal. For any up to with a superset of bit one, it assumes that up to always have internal state up one. If its original active rules cannot make up one internal, it can be improved to be internal by just adding orbitals to state up to. When adding orbitals to up to, it assumes the least number of row increase on state up to and bit two. After that, we conduct a viability check and add one more orbital to all the viable up to. We repeat the whole process on all the viable up to. After that, we extend all the corrected viable up to backward to in corner of one by one round. Here is a brief summary of results. As can be seen in the table, the T3 in the previous works is said to be 36 and 45 respectively, and in our work, the T3 is said to be 53. For the Kiki Chews, we only covered orbitals up to 6, since cases of 7 orbitals have too many candidate structures and the time complexity increases vigorously. That's all. Thanks for your attention.